You know the drill. Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here along with Chaos Box. Yeah, it's Texas Fan 25. NorCal Dude 599. Thunder Buddy 01, who's finally not going last once. <laughs> I mean, hey, I could have made you go last because of the group order, but I decided to be nice. Aw, thank you. Thank you. And SPC Ashen 9467. At least, at least for now, until it becomes dead last again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, there's two certain people in here who have not been a part of this, you know, series until now. And sorry to drop this bombshell, but hey, I figured we should bring Bree Nice. Wow. It's a butchering <laughs> for 2021. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, since they haven't been a part of this series until today, I figured we should change that by reviewing something a little bit, you know, small. Kind of like a certain or <laughs> dick, I mean, no. Anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, this radio is something that I have never seen before, and I'm gonna show it in the chat. Have you guys seen something like this? Because we are gonna review it. It's called the Nelsonic NLC 788. It's tiny, and we're gonna review it. Here we go. <laughs> The Nelsonic NLC 788. In other words, the $10 piece of shit. Yep. So, yeah, this radio is it's just good. a little tiny monstrosity. It's like a tiny turd from Microsoft Sam's diarrhea infested toilet. He just picked it out and added some silver lining around it. And there you go, weather radio. But anyways, yeah, this thing feels so fucking cheap. It is not even funny. So yeah, the Nelsonic came out sometime in like the 2010s. I have no fucking idea when this little bitch came out. But yeah, I will show you how cheap this radio is. Let me just turn on the flash. Okay, that's better. Now you can see the bottom. Okay. That's you what see she said. It is, what, it is what she said. Okay, Nelsonic, model number NLC788. Power supply takes three AAA batteries. Triple A batteries. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. right. That's a first. Yeah, that's right. Triple A. Actually, no, it's not so a first that's, because. That's like the AJ, uh, actually, no. The AJ50 takes three triple A's. Hmm. And the AJ51. The, the Lacrosse W85947 desktop radio takes triple A's. And that was already oh, reviewed true. yesterday. Nice. Oh. Or a couple of weeks <laughs> ago. By the time this radio is reviewed, <laughs> this episode is going to come out. But the lacrosse episode was featured on New Year's Eve, and it was reviewed last night. Eat? Like, literally before the countdown. Yes. Which, literally, last night was last year. Yes. We reviewed it last year. Oh Let's fucking... God, we're doing... We, we we're reviewed doing... it last oh, year, okay? Again. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are doing this shit again. Because, yeah, it was reviewed last year. Let's just fucking put it that way. Let's just put it right there. Anyways, yeah. I mean, okay... Okay, okay, okay. First of all, yesterday still exists. It was day 366 out of 366 of exactly. the year 2020. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Look at, look exactly. Being, uh, I agree. Look it's, at you being all technical and shit. Exactly. 
Exactly. It was the Wait. last. It was the last. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. It was the last day of the year. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Whatever. 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 So, yeah. Anyways, Nicholas, continue. Continue for the sake of this video, please. Continue. So, I love how y'all say that I'm... I love how y'all say I'm being the technical one, yet... Yeah, you've seen me with my freaking end deck, and yet... Drew over there has an end deck of his own, and... <laughs> for summer. <laughs> Just keep in mind, Drew still needs to get a Daz deck. Oh, okay. No, but that's the thing. Drew is the Daz deck. But, he needs to, but, but every Daz deck needs a Daz deck companion. That just sounds so wrong. That yeah, is, it that did. 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 It honestly did. I am so sorry. Decalus. Decalus. But right. yeah, yeah, this is it. The, 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 literally the ten, the ten dollar weather radio, and it's right in front of my fucking eyes. I'm holding one of these pieces of crap. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's seventy four two ten. <laughs> oh wait, or the seventy four two under the app uh, by mistake. But no, it's not. How can how the fuck can this be a seventy four two hundred? If the no 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 the screen no the, the screen don't mean shit. The screen doesn't mean shit. This radio doesn't have ten fifty or same. Oh wait, it has ten fifty actually, but it doesn't have same. Does it have ten fifty hertz? At least it does. At least it does, but it's fucking shit. Good. Does it come I mean, with the seventy? Yeah. It yeah, it could that. actually. It could come with it. <laughs> you could literally stick it in the fucking battery cover. That's what I meant. Yes, it comes with the ten fifty hertz pill because it has ten fifty hertz recognition. It's just like the two sixty, but awesome. Fuck yourself for that. <laughs> How can fuck Simple. I, I Simple. Like Mox can just get Desti over the fucking bed and oh. just bang her. Oh. Michael, I mean, if you want to get if you want to get riled up, you can always melt your own birds. Oh fuck that. I'm not I'm not I'm not like you who constantly obsesses over them and simps upon me of getting haunted by them. Oh yeah, let's just say that I still have control over those birds. Yeah, and you forever will. Yes. Yeah, and and, and Zion, don't think you're safe here, Meggy fucker. You're just as bad as the Mox over here. <laughs> you're just as bad. <laughs> Damn. Ain't we all? Ain't we all, but yeah, yeah. This is not about fucking splatooning Sona's <coughs> pedophilia. <laughs> no. But. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I mean, as long as, we're, as long as we're throwing that topic out there, we may as well throw Pizza Hyper into the mix, too. Oh, God. <laughs> But wait, Nicholas, didn't you bring up a point where the Ink Sonas or the Octolings or whatever they're called are like 14 years old or something? Inklings and Octolings, yeah. Ink Inklings and Octolings are 14. The only the only time where they aren't is if it's the act if they're of the actual person. So right. like mine, for example, my Ink Sona matches up with my actual self. Exactly. Yeah, we are we are not promoting pedophilia in any fucking way, shape, or form. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're not trying to get yeah, yeah, On a serious yeah, note. We're not like fucking uh We're not like, we're, we're, we're not like we're, we're, we're not we're not we're not like fucking Jared Fogel from Subway and we don't promote oh. that shit. So we can just move on from that uh. really quickly and get into the first <laughs> feature, and that is the siren. <laughs> yes! This $10 little piece of whatever has an actual siren for when it goes off. Special thanks, well, special thanks to Mitchell, aka MontyCat33, because this is his Nelsonic, and he actually posted a video of this radio activating on his channel going off for the RWT, which you just saw in the intro. So why don't we go ahead and play the video through Discord so we can listen to it if it can load fast enough. So yeah, this $10 weather radio has a siren and yes, 
as surprising as that is, it actually has one because it has a standby alert feature right there. So until the video loads and here it comes and here it is. That's what she said. Ow, I got shot by a crossbow. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> Dude, that was Wow. That's the siren on the Nell Sonic. <laughs> at least it, at least I didn't like the running snail sirens. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. Hey, 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 Mox. Mox. What? Mox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Davidson head ass? What is it? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, Zion. Oh, no. oh, God. What the fuck did you do now? I agree with you. The real thing is, the real question in here is, what the fuck did he not do? <laughs> I ain't scared of that thing. <laughs> you ain't oh god ain't but, it, huh? but yeah that's I ain't scared that of is sale. that is the siren on the Nell Sonic how fucking unoriginal because it's, uh, it's... yeah because um yeah this radio is literally ten fucking dollars yeah ten. since I remember Javier bringing Angel? something up yeah. Since I remember Javier bringing something up about this particular radio, I figured, hey, I have it. <gasps> I just remembered I should do a review on it. So, yeah, since you were here, what perfect timing. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, why don't we get into the next feature and, uh, <laughs> some feature. Some feature. Yeah. I'll say so, some feature. Does it, some does it even feature. need to be allowed to have a have its own feature? Well, yeah, this one is kind of important. Some feature. Some feature. Some fucking feature you got there. By the way, uh, just another side note. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm looking at this, and apparently Nelson was defunct in 1999. Wow. That's bullshit. So it's a boober radio. <laughs> how yes, can I wait right. wait how is nelsonic right, but... that can't be right this looks newer than 99 yeah that that looks like more actually it looks like the early 2000s if i look at it okay i apologize for the late reaction but taking a look at your webcam now that thing is puny and yes that's what she said yeah it's not it's puny like it's puny like it's puny like Well it's 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 puny but like hey hey It's puny like Savannah's IQ that's how bad it is it's a fucking piece of crap and ten fucking piece of useless shit that's what this is look at Oh no Hey before we before we continue uh hey stop Oh. No, he f for a living. I mean, why do you, why do you think? Why do you, I'm gonna censor this out? Why do you think for financial help? Affording all the. Dang. Damn. So. Wow. That radio is so useless, just like the Gaming Wolf channel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We are roasting the shit out of people. No kidding. Because we, we are an easiest bunch. Because we can. Yeah. Anyways. Nicholas, what are you doing with Mario? That's, this isn't Mario, it's what? Luigi. Luigi, what are you doing here? He's trying to. He's, 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 it's so fucking useless. I'm literally, I'm literally doing this with it. What a piece of shit! <laughs> I don't want the naked Luigi. Go away. Go away, Luigi. Go away. <laughs> see, see, as I, was, as I proved my fact, Nicholas is trying to have sex with Luigi. Look, no, look, no, look no, at no. this. Look at this shit. Look at this. The antenna is so fucking tiny. It can literally break dance like a fucking maniac. Ooh, I'm a Nil Sonic. Ooh, it's a bee. I don't want to be.
<laughs> what the hell am I doing? Just, what I'm are you doing? doing? I have no idea. <laughs> Breakdancing <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But yeah, anyways, yeah. The antenna. Hey Drew. Yes? DMs. Let's go ahead and get to the antenna. So yeah, this is all you get. That's it. This piece of crap has the worst antenna ever made. Literally. It's so fucking wow. puny. How the hell are you supposed to get any station with this? Surprisingly, yeah, I bet you have to be like right next to the fucking transmitter, like Mitchell probably is, to channel 5, whatever station that may be, because he got the fucking RM RMT and RWT perfectly on this motherfucker, because yeah, this piece of crap has a stupidly shitty short antenna. <laughs> she would... Wait a minute. She would Bad not idea. be satisfied. Hang on. She would not be satisfied with a thing like this, but yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, you ain't wrong. So, so you said, um, you said, so you said Mitchell's, uh, main station is on channel five, right? Well, I'm not sure that's his main station, but in the video that we just showed with the siren test, it was on channel five. All right. So now if I load the... No weather radio uh, website. He lives in Illinois, uh, by the way. Illinois, Chicago, CWA. Uh, uh, yes. All right, so let's go to Chicago. Um, my, my state. My oh, Chicago. No. God damn it! Damn <laughs> <laughs> Um, let me see this here. Uh, yeah, can you believe someone bought it? Oh wait, right. Mitchell it's probably. Alright, so judging by this, there was, uh, hold on, I'm just checking the, so you said he's in Illinois? Yeah, DeKalb, right, so, I think. Alrighty, so, in that case, he probably uses KXI-41 Crystal Lake as his, as uh, one of his stations. Most likely, yeah. Most likely, but... <laughs> I do remember him. I think he did catch a couple of alerts, like tornado warnings from KXI 41, I think. Damn. But, yeah, the antenna on the Nelsonic is just absolutely pointless. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Literally. Ri ri it's literally ridiculous. It's shit. It doesn't deserve to have a dick. Yet. 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 Yet it has one. I don't fucking know how, but it does. She's not impressed. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just how white that press Trump with what? Oh. 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 <laughs> I mean, then again, uh, but, in, uh, literally, by the literally way, in a few weeks, Trump, in a few weeks, Trump's gonna be going bye bye, and then President Dementia headass is gonna take the chair. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, somebody, someone here wants to make a quick appearance. Who? Who? Oh. Hey! Oh. Dog. It's, oh, a, let me see. it's one of the apple heads. Oh. It's one of the apple heads. <laughs> I think... Yep. I think... Okay, the lighting is distracting me. There's, it could either be one of the two. It could be snowy or it can be Coco. But I think <laughs> it's snowy because of the spots on the ears. I think. Yep, that is snowy. I figured that because, like, snow. Oh, you kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> you kissy, dirty. Yep, you are correct. This is snowy. <laughs> oh my god. He's kissing the Let's hell out of you. She just got spoiled right now and she got uh, chicken nuggets. Oh, oh my yeah. god, look. Oh, she is so cute. Yeah. Look at her. Look at, she's like, she almost looks like a bat with those big ears, a cute bat. <laughs> All right. You get some wholesome stuff in this radio reviews episode, because why not? Yeah. I mean, we already got some wholesome doggos thanks to Nicholas Xerxes. I wouldn't call it's currently sleeping, but nah.
But yeah. Xerxes is currently sleeping, so. So yeah, why don't we get into the next feature or the next bad feature on this fucking ten dollar piece of crap? And that is the setup. Is the setup worse th than the fucking um some of the um great scientifics? Yeah, a bit. But okay, I wouldn't say as bad as the organ scientifics, but it's still pretty confusing. So you see you have okay. about eight buttons up top. Only eight buttons. Okay. Well, seven buttons wow. and one switch for the alarm. Yeah, this piece of crap actually has a fucking alarm clock. But you have your time and channel buttons right here. But these, there's the problem. These buttons are labeled for two or more different things. And that can get confusing. For example, let's set the time. You have to hold down the time up arrow button. And then you have to set the hour and the minute with these two buttons. This is the hour button. And this is the minute button. But the bad thing is this. It's just like the fucking Midland 74200. You can't go down. You can only go up. And that's about it. You can't go back if you make a mistake. You can't correct it if you make a mistake like going a number above you have to go all the way back to the fucking beginning just so you can get the right time and when you're finished with that you press time again now i purposefully had the clock i had the i had the clock on this thing purposefully programmed 12 hours behind just so i could demonstrate that horrible setup process setting the time. Also, guess how you get into the weather broadcast? Uh, how so? Yeah, how? You have to press the snooze button to get into the fucking broadcast. You have to press snooze because mode is underneath it. So you press that and it takes, and then, hey, 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 here's the volume. <laughs> and then here's the fucking channel. You are into the broadcast. And you change channels with these buttons on the left. But you press snooze to get in? Why? Why? I don't get that. Also, it's Nail Sonic. Oh yeah, I forgot. It is Nail Sonic, the tiniest Nail fucking Sonic. radio I've ever reviewed. Oh wait, no, it's not the tiniest radio. The HH50 and the 51 exist. Yeah, <laughs> but the tiniest desktop radio, home? at least. Yeah, tiniest desktop. Yeah, tiniest overall. You can thank me for the HH50 for that. And Katie for the HH-51. But yeah, this is literally the tiniest desktop weather radio I have ever fucking reviewed thus far. Because it's, 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 yeah, it can be portable, but it's not a handheld. It's designed for desktop use. Hey, that's my weather radio, a fucking Nelsonic. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> but yeah. The setup on this thing is just terribly confusing. Oh, by the way, Drew. Oh, no. Drew. Yes? You want to know another feature this thing has? What? That's going to make you laugh. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, here comes the laughing part. Yeah. So we've already established the fact that this is a NOAA weather radio. But can you believe this piece of shit has AM and FM too? Yeah, this has AM, FM. This little piece of crap has AM and FM. It's not just NOAA, it's AM and FM. I love how it doesn't even mention AM. 
in the front of the NOAA weather radio. Like, in any of that radio, actually. Yeah, it has AM, FM on this piece of shit. To get into AM, FM, and it's pretty obvious, because if you look at the top right button right here, it says FM slash AM preset. Oh, yeah, let's reverse AM, FM and call it FM, AM instead, because FM, AM sounds much more cooler than AM, FM. Am I right? Somebody lost some freight cells making that radio. <laughs> but yeah, you um, you go into it by pressing mode. And the first option is FM, surprisingly, of course. And you tune it using the channels. Again. How the fuck is this thing picking up anything? Whatsoever. Oh, oh, nice. This radio is playing porno style music on WNCW. That's nice. Well, now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Javier. Javier. Yeah. Hey, a porno store! Uh, <laughs> well, that's what happens when you go to Reno, Nevada. But yeah, this is literally a tiny. <laughs> 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 this is literally a fucking mini AM FM radio. It's humiliating. Well, hey, I mean, the only plus, I mean, I guess the only plus you have with that between that is that that's probably going to be the smallest AMFM radio out there. I mean, at least it does the job somewhat. Right. But Spark is still, Spark is still the go-to. Yes. Long live the spark. Yes. The go to and FM radio. If you can find one. Yeah. Well, at least you have the HDR 14, which is your next best alternative. Bruh. And then you have AM, which doesn't even work. Hey guys, the radio's farting again. Oh, I knew it. That's what happens when you give the milk too much to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gorky, my car. It goes to 540 and fucking farts. No, I think Taco Bell is more appropriate than this case. Don't you mean Taco Baco? Oh, no. Yes! Tinkle outside the binkle. Motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing vulgar here. Oh, I mean, God. Is oh, yeah. Nothing we're, we're in the freaking Clay Ranger 143 video. Of course it's gonna be vulgar. Yeah, no hey, fucking hey. shit. I already make it vulgar it's enough. It's always gonna be Touché. Touché. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, 1350's worse. Oh my god, I hear that. I wonder if it's, be I wonder if it's because you're near a computer. Probably. Yeah. Probably is, but yeah. This piece of... Probably. Yeah, but... Yeah, because usually when you're near, like, electronics, it, it usually, like, creates more static. Yeah, it does that. But we're going to get into the next fucking feature, and that is the speaker quality. Yeah, this tiny ass speaker has quality? What the fuck is that? What the hell is quality anymore? I can't recall the last time fucking Running Snail or fucking Midland with the older 70s radios or fucking Radio Shack with certain models ever thought about quality. But no, Sonic, I don't think they ever thought about it because this piece of crap has the worst speaker in existence. And yet somehow, and yet somehow it gets a decent rating. Yes. I was looking for a Nelson Sonic on our fucking, why is this, why is this right here looking like? Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say Nelson Sonic? Listen, it's probably speaking. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, does fuck look like an Everson race when you look at it? <laughs> How the fuck wow. is this piece of crap look like a 519? Oh, yeah, that's the 
that looks like 19. <laughs> and Michael's face. I am going to screenshot that right now. Wait, hang Fuck. on. What happened? <laughs> Anyways. Just, we were looking at the alarm clock. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is that? Bro, that looks like... Bro, that looks Michael, like... I got you. Bro, that look... Yeah, thanks a lot, Drew. Bad. But, but yeah, look. You want to know what that <laughs> looks like? You want to know what this looks like? This looks like if the hero radios, we'll get to that in another episode, and the Zenith, and the Zenith desktop radios had a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Me no like no Sonic. Oh. oh god, hey. Me no like no Sonic, daddy, no. <laughs> okay, did this turn into something I don't want to know about? Yes, it did, but anyways... <laughs> Do you want to know what this looks like? Yeah. This this Nell Sonic over here. This looks like if the Hero Radios. We'll get to that in another episode. And the fucking Zenith desktop alarm clock radios, <laughs> along with General Electric's radios, had a fucking love child and a threesome, and it went wrong terribly. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we are going to test out the absolutely shitty ass speaker quality on the fucking NLC 788, AKA the $10 weather brick, the $10 weather radio, the $10 weather radio that does nothing but fucking suck. Anyways. The $10 brick of cocaine. Yeah, how, how the hell are we gonna test out the speaker quality if the reception we already know is shit up here with this thing? With a radio like this, there's no way. Unless, by some fucking miracle, it picks it up. Let's try it out. Hey. Nope. Just as I figured. Well, let's try AM FM then. From Sierra Nevada Brewing Co. Family owned, operated, and <laughs> proud supporter of independent thought, whether that's online, over the air, or in a bottle. More info at SierraNevada.com. And support tonight comes from Sunny Creek Farm, providing fresh hydroponically grown sprouts, including alfalfa, broccoli, and clover, grown year round and available at your local grocery store. More information at SunnyCreekFarm.com. Eat well to feel well. There's... During Morning Edition, called Pandemic Arts. You'll hear performing artists talk about how the global pandemic has affected their careers, finances, creativity, and vision of the future. This is the radio adaptation of the video series Pandemic Arts, produced by the Will and Denny McIntyre Foundation in partnership with the Madison County Arts Council, Blue Ridge Music Trails, and WNCW. Alternating on Tuesday mornings at 8.51 a.m. with music documentaries from Southern Songs and Stories. On this new feature, you'll get to know artists like David Holt, Zoe and Cloyd, and many more on Pandemic Arts. Here on Grassroots Radio, WNCW. But what's an F I play? I don't get it, but yeah. The speaker quality on this radio is actually decent, I guess. You guess. Yeah, I guess. But regardless of the fact the speaker quality is okay at the very least because yeah this thing is literally a ten dollar weather brick it's a piece of crap and unfortunately we got to move on to the next feature which is also bad the fucking reception okay the reception on the nelsonic nlc 788 there's no use trying it indoors because I already tried it and look what happens. <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing. 
So. Oh yeah, N Nicholas's shoes are just completely random. <laughs> but yes, fun fact, these were actually Nicholas's old sneakers. And I have them now. And these are mine. The reason why he has them, uh, <laughs> my shoes don't fit. My, my At least don't these. Fit no these don't fit I anymore. I know something else that doesn't fit. Oh, Nicholas, what, shish. What, what? Shish. Hey, I know something else that also. Shish. I also know something else that also doesn't fit, Zion. Your dick inside Meggie's pussy when you fuck her. Oh. How do you know? Because oh. she told. Because because oh, it was evident. Because it was apparent. Because it was apparent after orange cream soda was fucking splattered everywhere. How do you know? Bitch, I could fucking bitch. Bitch, the whole fucking thing exploded like a goddamn firework in your fucking room when you had first inserted it. Damn. It was bigger than a New Year's Eve party. Damn. <laughs> get a picture, 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 get a picture. Get a picture. <laughs> got it. I got it. Welcome to Clay Ridge or 140 Freeze channel. Where you 140 Free? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I heard, I heard 133. You know what? Okay, I lost brain cells. I'm going to go. You, you son <laughs> of a bitch. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't even know anymore. I'm not trying to argue. Fuck you. AT&T. Zion.exe has left the building. Anyways, I'm going to go outside. Awesome? To test the fucking shitty reception. So yeah, BRB. Next thing, next thing you know, it actually has to do with reception. I swear yeah, to God. Watch. Okay. Hopefully it's not too wet out here. It already feels wet from the fucking fog. Thanks, winter. You suck. But anyways, the reception on the Nelsonic. It's not gonna be good, I'm telling you. I'm sorry, just getting one station doesn't even justify this puny antenna. Look at how tiny it is against this post. Unbelievable. So yeah, just as I figured, the reception is quite shitty. And on that note, it is time for the next feature, and that is the speaker quality's other version. <laughs> the build quality. Okay. Don't move these because you might break the game. Okay, the build quality on the Nelsonic NLC 788, the fucking ten dollar radio. This radio feels very cheap indeed, and that probably explains why it's worth only ten dollars. So yeah, there is one last feature that I must get into after we get done with the build quality. But yeah, the antenna is obviously extremely shitty. It does feel very stiff, and it feels like it's about to break. So I'm being extremely careful with that. The buttons just feel flimsy. They just feel like your cheap 
generic dollar store ba buttons on plastic fucking shits or whatever. The front literally has no features whatsoever because it's a $10 radio and what do you want for 10 bucks, right? Right? So you have this speaker right here. This speaker isn't really all that good, but it's decent enough. You have your no weather radio logo printed on the bottom right corner. The screen is just your basic fucking alarm clock head ass display from your typical 1990s alarm clock. Oh, it is also rumored that Nelsonic went defunct in 1999. But I don't believe that. Sure. Hmm. Because this radio looks way newer than 1999. How is this from 1999? How? But yeah, the body of the radio itself is very cheaply built. It just doesn't feel durable at all. The battery cover also doesn't feel durable. But then again, it's a fucking battery cover. It doesn't even have foam to protect it. But then again... What do you want for 10 bucks? Right? Candy bar. Right. A candy Wait, bar. paying $10 for a candy bar? Well, I mean, it'd be worth it to this piece of shit radio. That's, that's well, a I good, mean... what a perfect analogy. <laughs> but, yes. yeah. Anyway, as I fucking mess around with the brightness on my iPhone... As you can clearly see, ooh, bright, ooh, the contrast, ooh, everything's so bright, ooh, <laughs> let's make everything, let's make everything dark. Hello, darkness, my old friend, I'm to talk with you again. To talk with you again. Anyways, um, yeah. Let's just put that back to normal. Let's just put let's just put that back to normal and yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the final thoughts of the Nell Sonic. Oh boy. Oh wait, no. We're not into the final thoughts. We have one last feature and it's bad. The fucking display. So, the display on the $10 weather radio, a.k.a. the Nelsonic, a.k.a. the NLC-788, a.k.a. the piece of fucking shit that barely picks up anything because of the stupid fucking shitty short antenna that it has. Stuck. But anyways, yeah. The display on this thing is extremely oversensitive to angled viewing because you cannot see it unless you are viewing it head-on with a display. That's it. If you put it slightly up this happens it fades out if you put it down slightly guess what it fades out if you put it to the left it fades out you put it to the right it fades out you put it diagonally it fades out diagonally to the left the right or the left it fades out this fucking display is the epitome of the nelsonic this thing is literally so bad you have to view it like you're staring at it point blank range like I set it up. But yeah, the fucking thing is terrible to view. You can only view it head on and that's about it. Even with the light on, it doesn't even help. In fact, it just makes it worse because of the glare of the backlight. So there's nothing good about this radio. Ah, oh, man. Anyways, moving on quickly. To the final thoughts on the Nelsonic, because yeah, we are we are we are already done. Okay, as we hear Splatoon in the background from Gary's Mods works. In conclusion, on the Nelsonic NLC 788, this radio is literally the epitome, the monstrosity of small desktop radios. This is literally the worst desktop radio I have ever reviewed, ever. It's just so basic. So basic, you can't even use it for third-party things. It's just a simple weather radio. That's all you get. Sure, it has AM, FM, so but... basic! So basic! Yeah, so basic indeed. Basically, this radio is basically so basic that basically Nelsonic just went out of basically business because they went out from basically manufacturing anything else that's basic anymore because the basically basic factor of this basic radio is that basically they basically stopped making basic products 
and they fucking basically just stopped altogether because they were too basic to fucking give a basic damn. So yeah, they basically fucking basic themselves and they fucking basically shut this basic piece of basic shit out and everything about it is so basic from AM FM to basicness, basic, 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 basic. Got enough basics there? No, basically the display is shit. The basic speaker is shit. The buttons are basically shit. The alarm switch is basically shit. The antenna is way too basically shit. And the back is basically shit. The battery life is basically shit. So yeah, everything about this basic piece of basic shit is shit. It's basically shit. That's all you can ask for. It's fucking basic for $10. What do you want for $10, right? It's a basic fucking weather radio. So if you basically want a basic weather radio that does nothing but basically alert you for basic alerts and other basically everything, go right ahead and basically knock yourself out. But if you don't want a basic radio that basically fucking fails you every fucking time you receive a basic alert, basically don't buy it. <laughs> If you're a collector, then knock yourself out, I guess. Other than that, this tiny black brick is worthless. And on that basic note, basically, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like this. For more radio reviews episodes and weather alerts combined, also subscribe to Monster Cat 33 and the Siren Geek for temporarily lending me their radios in order to review them. Also subscribe to Chaos Mox, SPC Ashland 9467. Chaos Mox is over there, but I mentioned them already. But EAS Test Fan 25, Thunder Buddy 01, and NorCal Dude 599, who are all in here for the radio reviews episode and have joined us for this definitely devious episode. So, on that note, thank you for watching. Basically, yeah. Yeah, basically, yes. This is basically Clay Ranger 143 <laughs> signing out along with... Basically, Chaos Box, stay chaotic, keep crazy. Basically, AASS Fan 25. Basically, NorCal Dude 599. Basically, Basic Buddy 01. <laughs> <laughs> and SPC Basic 9467. <laughs> and we will basically see you guys in the next episode of Radio Reviews. And hopefully, it won't be as basic as this radio episode basically was. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Now, Sonic Basic.